Uh, Matt, thank you for a $2 super chat. We are almost caught up on our super chat clear out. We had a lot of super chats. And also I babbled for a little bit. We're going to try and take a couple chats, uh, questions from the regular stream before we close up. Don't worry. Uh, can you explain the differences between the Crossfire Nano and the Crossfire Nano Pro? Yeah, Matt, it's very, it's very simple. The Crossfire module in your controller transmits your control signals to the aircraft, right? That makes sense. The receiver on the quadcopter sends telemetry back to the radio. So the receiver is also a, a transmitter. The telemetry transmission is usually like 100 milliwatts. And what that means is that you lose telemetry before you lose your control link. If you fly far enough away, you'll stop getting telemetry because your telemetry transmission from the receiver back to you is only 100 milliwatts, but your, your crossfire module from the controller to the receiver is one watt. Okay. Well, that's not a big deal for like people who are just flying freestyle or racing. Cause number one, we usually don't outrun the telemetry transmission anyway. And number two, if we do lose telemetry, it's not the end of the world. We just keep flying and, and it's, everything is fine. Um, but for people who do long range stuff, that telemetry link can be really important especially because sometimes that is connected to a ground station, a computer ground station that is like uploading waypoints to the aircraft. And so sometimes that telemetry link is actually essential to the actual flying of the aircraft. So the pro receiver, the Crossfire Nano Pro has a 500 milliwatt telemetry transmitter on board that keeps your telemetry link alive for a longer distance. Most people don't need it. When it first came out, there were people like, oh, we got to get the Pro. And I'm like, do you even know? Do you know what the Pro does? You don't. You probably don't need it. Because number one, you're probably not far, flying far enough to lose telemetry anyway. And number two, even if you did lose telemetry, it's probably not mission critical for you. And you could just keep flying. Savasi has a great question related to this in the Discord. See, I told you I would stop taking Super Chats. <laughs> Savasi asks, so if you remove the crossfire receiver antenna, do you risk burning the receiver because of telemetry transition transmission? That is actually correct. If you turn on your crossfire receiver with no antenna, which like some tiny whoop racers would do this, they would have a crossfire receiver, no antenna, and they would still get enough range to do a, a tiny whoop race. Eventually their telemetry transmitter will burn out. It's not instantaneous, but it will happen eventually. And then telemetry will no longer work. <laughs> 